Hello, my name is Trina McDonald. I'm the lab manager for the VC Generations Project, the largest cancer prevention cohort study in the province of British Columbia. Today I'm here to show you what we do with all the blood samples that we collect for our research. Our participants visit a blood lab in their community where they donate six small tubes of blood. Keeping the samples fresh is really important to the study. Within 24 to 30 hours of a blood sample being donated anywhere in the province, our lab will have it processed and frozen for storage. Our lab is located at the BC Cancer Research Centre in Vancouver. As soon as we receive a shipment of blood samples, we unpack them and enter them into the computer on our biorepository database. We then sort the samples for processing, beginning with the oldest sample in the batch. We process the color tubes in different ways to isolate specific blood products and then portion them into smaller cryotubes. We have whole blood in the yellow top tubes and we extract blood serum from the gold top tubes. The blood we collect in the purple top tubes is treated with an anticoagulant to keep it from clotting. We use a centrifuge to spin the tubes to separate the blood into its different components. It takes 10 minutes for the blood to separate into the three layers. The top layer is blood plasma, which contains the proteins in your blood. The middle layer contains the white blood cells, which provide us with the DNA material. The bottom layer contains the red blood cells, those cells that carry the oxygen in your blood. Each of these layers is also portioned into a set of cryotubes. In total, we end up with up to 27 samples from each participant. All the samples are labeled and inventoried in our system. To ensure participant confidentiality, we only record the BC Generation's ID number, not the study member's name. This ID links the blood samples with the other data we collect from participants. The last step is freezing. We store our samples in two different ways. One is in a mechanical freezer at a freezer farm that keeps samples frozen at around minus 80 degrees Celsius. These freezers are on a remote 24-hour monitoring system that will notify us if there's ever a problem. We're also storing about 40% of our samples at minus 190 degrees Celsius using liquid nitrogen freezers. All biological activity stops at this temperature, so we're essentially freezing the samples in time. We're currently operating three liquid nitrogen freezers, each one holding more than 55,000 samples. By the time we obtain samples from 40,000 study participants, we'll require long-term storage space for more than one million samples. This massive repository of blood samples will be a valuable resource for many researchers looking into the causes of cancer and other chronic diseases. So for all of those who have donated blood to the BC Generations Project, thank you.